When legends speak, oh, we tend to listen. And in this case, a legend spoke about Lamar Jackson, saying that he was the best to ever do this in the league. But who was that legend? Well, it was none other than Cam Newton. And I know some of y'all saying, like, legend, Cam Newton, those two don't go in the same sentence. Well, in my opinion, they certainly do. And Cam Newton was a legend in the league. Reason I say that is because, in my opinion, a legend is somebody that has made a consistent, positive impact on the league they were a playmaker they had a lot of success in the nfl and cam newton did all of those things a former league mvp he made it all the way to the super bowl went what 15 and 1 with his team and he broke so many different records cam newton he was one of them guys for a hot minute man cam newton was like that and then he even made a, a huge impact on the league off the field too with his fashion game and while i it may not be my cup of tea Cam Newton was certainly legendary uh, in his own regard. So with what he had to say about Lamar Jackson, I listened and I appreciated his words. But what exactly did he say? Well, before we listen to it, make sure you leave a like on the video. Click the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel so you do not miss not a single video, not a single update, and not a single time a legend speaks on Lamar. Let's listen. Do you see or think of yourself as the greatest dual threat to ever play That's the game? a good game? question. No. Yeah. Lamar Jackson. What? Why so? Why Lamar? Well, Lamar's style is mm -hmm. a little different than mine. He got big play. Yeah, yeah. Any play. Yeah. Yes. He got speed that I That's true. never had. Mm -hmm. And he's just electric. And then, like, I played the game more mm -hmm. powerful. It's so like a Josh Allen. You know, you're going to run through you. They might run around you. Yeah, I can run, but I might probably mm -hmm. get caught. Big Lamar, they ain't getting caught. And shout out to Cam Newton for those powerful words on Ravens quarterback Lamar Jackson. And I agree with him. Do y'all agree? Please let me know in the comment section if you think Lamar Jackson is the best dual threat quarterback, not only right now, but to ever do it. And he got some competition. Obviously, probably his biggest competition is going to be Michael Vick. That's who a lot of people are going to compare him to. That's who a lot of people have compared him to. But Michael Vick even said it himself. He said, hey, Lamar Jackson, he better than me. And Vick didn't even have to say that for that to be true because that's something that we have already seen. And that's, of course, no shot at Vick because Vick was nice. man. I, I used to love Michael Vick. He used to be my favorite player back then. Um, but with Michael Vick, I just feel like Lamar Jackson – can do more and he has done more more consistently than a michael vick has uh, but with lamar jackson like cam newton said he obviously is electric he's there's a big play waiting to happen like every play and something that we've said on here a lot when it comes to lamar jackson what's crazy is that he obviously got a million highlight plays that we've all seen but there are so many plays that would he would have even more if a lot of the plays that they missed on if they ended up being completions or they ended up being positive gains or something like that because there's plays where Lamar Jackson, he'll make somebody miss in the backfield. They have a pass rusher coming at him. He'll be looking downfield. He'll make another pass rusher miss, and then he'll launch it downfield. And it could be just a hint of an overthrow. It could be just a drop. It, it could be anything. But there's a lot of plays that would be highlights that he ended up missing, but he still did so much crazy stuff on that play it's like he makes some of the best incompletions that you've ever seen in your life because he's just one of them guys man but i, I really respected what cam newton had to say uh he also talked about the speed talked about the speed that, that comes with that big play ability and that he said lamar jackson michael vick they ain't getting caught they are not getting caught well a little bit of a heavier Lamar Jackson. He, he got caught a couple of times, but normal Lamar Jackson, he ain't getting caught from behind. And Cam Newton talked about how he, with him, like he was more of a physical player. Like he'll try to run through somebody. Lamar, he don't really do that. He'll run around you. He'll make you miss. He'll make you look foolish. Cam will make you look foolish in his own way because he'll truck you. And you'll be looking like, oh, man, I, I just got trucked by Cam Newton. And I, I really think that, and we've heard this comparison before, and it, it, to me it's a great comparison when they compare Josh Allen to a Cam Newton uh, when he runs the ball. Because Josh Allen he ain't making nobody miss. Cam Newton can make somebody miss, but Josh Allen, he looking to run somebody over. And that's what Cam Newton would do a lot, too. And like you said, he was very, very physical. So I agree. Again, I agree wholeheartedly with what Cam Newton had to say about Lamar Jackson. Again, let me know if y'all agree or not. But also, let me know if you think Lamar Jackson is clutch. Shit. 
Let's talk about it. CBS Sports, they ranked NFL's top 10 clutch quarterbacks. And this list was very, very interesting because there are a lot of guys ahead of our favorite quarterback, Lamar Jackson. And let me know if you think these guys deserve to be where they were listed at or if this may be a mistake. So uh, we'll start at number one. Number one, the most clutch QB in the league, none other than Patrick Mahomes. I mean, ain't going to be no argument there. Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback in the league. He got it. That's all he is. So no arguments there. Number two is C.J. Stroud. It says nobody was better in the clutch than C.J. Stroud last year. The Texans converted on six of eight game tying or go-ahead drives chances late with Stroud under center. His numbers in those situations were phenomenal. 77% completion rate, 10.7 yards per attempt, and a 139.5 passer rating. Woo. Okay, C.J. Stroud, that's really high. And that's a lot of high expectations for him going into his second year. Let's go to move on to number three. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, number three. Number four, Josh Allen. He said, Josh Allen is top ten in every criteria mentioned off the top, including fifth in clutch drive conversation rate both in 2023 and for his career. He led three game-winning drives as the Bills finished last season on a five-game win streak and stole the AFC East title from Miami. All right, so number five is, again, all these people ahead of Lamar Jackson, Jared Goff. Jared Goff. Jared Goff has more clutch moments in 2023 than you probably remember. He ranked third in game time and go-ahead drive con conversion rate in the fourth quarter in overtime last year, 6 of 10, 60%, and third in EPA per play in those situations. Let's continue. Number seven, oh, excuse me, number six is Dak Prescott. It says, I don't trust Dak Prescott to put the Cowboys on his back in the playoffs or really shine versus the top competition, but he also puts up MVP-type numbers, which is why he's high on this list but not in the type, top five. He was five of nine on game time or go-ahead drive chances late in games last year and led three game-winning drives in prime time versus the Chargers, Seahawks, and Lions. And he said, even if the Detroit game should have ended differently. All right, number seven, Joe Burrow. Ahead of Lamar Jackson, too. Joe Burrow solidified his status as Joe Cool with thrilling wins in each of his first three matchups against Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. His conversion rates on game time or go-ahead drive chances are at least 40% across the board. Regular season career, playoff career, and in 2022-23. He's top 11 among current starters in all three categories. Okay, we still ain't get to Lamar yet. Now, this one is like, ooh, he's ahead of Lamar Jackson as clutch? Daniel Jones. Daniel Jones. From the Giants. Yeah, that Daniel Jones. Him. Let's read. It says, hear me out before you pound your fist on the table and yell, Daniel Jones is eight on this list. He had a very, very few clutch opportunities through the three seasons, but he's been steady lately. He successfully led the Giants down the field or to tie or take the lead on 11 of 25 opportunities, 44% uh, in the last two years, a top 10 rate in the NFL. Okay. Now, number nine. Finally. We made it to where they put Lamar Jackson. And let's hear what they had to say about him. Lamar Jackson has the third highest conversion rate on these clutch drives, 48%, among active starters behind only C.J. Stroud and Patrick Mahomes. It's only behind them two. It says the problem is he hasn't delivered in the clutch in the postseason, and he was one of the reasons the Ravens blew so many fourth-quarter leads recently. Hmm. Let's continue. It says he's had, he has 16 total touchdowns. Okay, nice. And 15 turnovers in the fourth quarter in the last three years. Oof. While the Ravens have blown the most seven-point leads in fourth quarter, uh, in the fourth quarter in a three-year span in NFL history. I, I ain't know. I like I know what them fourth quarters because we all remember. Oh my goodness, there was that that crazy again that crazy span where they were just the fourth quarter after fourth quarter after fourth quarter. Second, it was just crazy. It's like what are we do? Are we doing this intentionally? How can we keep blowing these leads? But I didn't know it was uh, NFL history like that, like that. So that's why Lamar Jackson, they have him listed as number nine. Uh, and then number 10 um, is Justin Herbert. So how do you feel about Lamar Jackson being so low on this list? Uh, do you feel like Lamar Jackson is clutch? Now, we know we've seen the clutch before. We've seen it plenty of times. Uh, but we've seen... We've seen the letdowns, too. We've seen a bit of both. But do you feel like he belongs at number nine? Do you think he should be a lot higher? Do you think he should be lower? Team, keep it clean. 
Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And speaking of top 10, PFF did a list of the top 10 returning head coaches this upcoming NFL season. And let me know if y'all agree. So, number one, Andy Reid. No questions there. No arguments there. Andy Reid, best coach in the league. Obviously, most recent successful coach in the league. He got it. He can have it. It's all his. Hopefully, Ravens take it, but that's him. He got it. Cool. Number two, Kyle Shanahan. Kyle Shanahan... Can't fight with that either, in my opinion, because them 49ers, like, they were in the Super Bowl back in 2012 with the Baltimore. And it obviously wasn't Kyle Shanahan in them, but they weren't like, all right, you know what? We got there back in 2012. Uh, we got a new regime and whatnot. Uh, we ain't going to get back. No, they were just back there, what, a couple years? Was that 2019, I think, against the Chiefs? They were there. They keep making it to all these NFC championships. They made it to the Super Bowl again. And while they haven't had the ultimate success yet, They've been knocking on that door over and over. They continue to find ways to get there. So Kyle Shanahan being at number two, even with all the jokes and stuff like that, we know, but they keep making it. So him being number two, no problem. Number three, John Harbaugh, Ravens head coach. And he's over Sean McVay, a more recent Super Bowl winner, even though his team hasn't been having the best regular season success. He he won a Super Bowl more recently than John Harbaugh. And been two, uh, two Super Bowls more recently than the Baltimore Ravens. And the Ravens have had some good teams now. But Sean McVay and them, they done found a way. Uh, number five, Mike Tomlin. Mm. John Harbaugh's kryptonite almost. Mike Tomlin has continued to call John Harbaugh out. Uh, say, hey, the Ravens, they don't play a full fourth quarter. They are predictable. And Mike Tomlin been getting John Harbaugh recently. Now, obviously, the Ravens have had more team success, uh, but individual, like straight up, Mike Tomlin been getting them. But it is more about the team success overall. Uh, continuing, Matt Lafleur, Packers head coach. Mm. So he went from Aaron. They went from Aaron Rodgers to Jordan Love. Now they in a Jordan Love area. Looks like Jordan Love gonna be nice too. That boy could play. Um, is he a better head coach than John Harbaugh? Oof. That's a little tricky one right there. I, I think that that's a real tricky one right there. Uh, Dan Campbell, number seven. D'Amico Ryan's new up and coming young head coach. Last year was his first year, I believe, with the Texans. And then number nine and ten, Kevin Stefanski and Sean McDermott from the Bills. I'm surprised that Sean McDermott is so low. I, I'm I'm really surprised he's that low, especially how the Bills like. They've had a lot of not necessarily a lot of success, but uh, yeah, they had a lot of success. And they win a lot of games. And then, like we talked about earlier in this year, I mean, excuse me, early in this video uh, last season, how they, they went on that five-game win streak to close it out because the Bills were looking a little shaky. But they finished the season off real, real strong. So where would you put John Harbaugh on this list of top 10 returning head coaches? And do you feel like he's too high? Or do you feel like he's too low? Or is he just in the right spot?